Hi guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I am going to participate in a tag that Jamie just did several weeks ago and now it's my turn. This is the My Go-To Makeup Look. Now this was started by our friend Kristen here on YouTube. Her channel is Kristen G-E-H-M. The link will be below so that you can make sure you can check out her channel. We were really excited to be able to jump in on this tag because they're always fun. We hope that any of you who are watching this who make videos will want to jump in and do them as well. So I'm going to just go right to what I do as far as kind of a no-brainer, what I reach for when it comes to makeup on a daily basis when I don't want to put a whole lot of thought into it. But the only thing that I will say is that I don't have one particular look that's just like, oh, I'm, I go to this every day. I like a lot of variety, especially when it comes to eyeshadow. So I have some eyeshadow options that I'm going to show you, but they're all by one brand, so it'll keep it really simple. So after I have done my skincare for the day, which would include, you know, moisturizer, eye cream, you know, making sure my skin is completely prepped. I use like a primer, a face primer. It's actually Clarins, um Flash Beauty Balm. I love that. Then I go right into applying my BB cream. I don't wear a full face foundation, so I reach more for tinted moisturizers or BB creams. This is L'Oreal's Youth Code BB Cream in the shade called Light, and I have really liked this one. Um, I think that there are a ton of decent BB creams out on the market, but if you are kind of new to BB creams, I would try some drugstore brands before you splurge on like a more expensive prestige brand. After that, I apply my concealer. And I just dot this. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind just under my eyes just to fill in any dark circles that I have and just kind of brighten up my under eye area. And we have gone through so many of these. As you can see, this one's getting really low. And this is in the shade called Brightener. So it's not actually like a flesh toned. And I like the Brightener just because it it gives you like that illuminating look kind of under your eyes and it just makes your skin I think look prettier and more awake. And then I use Acora's um, eye primer. Eye primers to me, I swear by them, I would, they're definitely a, a step that I do not skip at all. And this Cora's anti-aging eye primer is what I've been using for the last couple of months and I love it. I think that this is about done. I'm going to have to end up getting a new one soon. But this has been a great one if you guys want to try this brand. Okay, so after that's done, the next thing that I go to is an all-over face powder, and I use the Lorac Pore Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder in the shade called PF2, which is light, and it's been a, it has had a lot of love from me, and I just use this Sigma brush, which is the Duo Fiber F50, and just get a little bit of that on the end, and then I actually just apply this right in like kind of my T-zone area. I don't apply this all over. Um, I get a little bit maybe shiny throughout the day in my T-zone, so I'll just use a little bit of powder to kind of keep that at bay. And then, every day, I definitely, I have to do this. Some of you guys might not have to do this, but I am a fair-skinned, pale girl. So I need a bronzer help every single day. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa. And I love it. I've talked about it a ton. This one is almost done. I'm, I already have a backup, though, so I'm not worried about that. But I'm trying to, like, rim around the edges. And when I apply that, I use this Sigma brush which is a large powder F30. I just swirl it around and then I kind of just apply it to the contour areas of my cheeks and then up on my temp above my temples along my hairline and then sometimes I'll bring it down like along my jaw. But love this bronzer and it gives me the color that I so desperately need. Trust me, I am so pale without it. Um, and then I use for my blush, this is probably my most reached for blush here lately. It's the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush and Exposed. And I love this color. It's a good, like, neutral, nudie blush that I think goes with anything. And for my brush for that one, I use the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush, which I just dot in there. This is very dirty. Much loved. My brushes need a cleaning. What can I say? Um, and then just, you know, apply to the apple of the cheeks and good to go. Get a little bit of color. And then, okay, 
this is where I go crazy because this is where I say that I like a lot of different eyeshadow options. So, so I don't really have one particular palette that I say, oh, I go to that or I go to these two or these three colors every single day. Here lately, my love has been Wet n Wild palettes. I have acquired quite a collection of them so far, but there's still several for me to get. Um, this is one of the bigger palettes that I have, which is the Comfort Zone. I love this, particularly this side over here is more wearable for every day, but I love this dark definer color here for the, um, for the outer corners and even for maybe bringing down for your lower lash line. And then from the Color Icon Trios, I have many of them. I use all of these. Some of them get a little more love than others. Uh, this is I'm Getting Sunburned. This is a favorite, Walking on Eggshells. It's amazing and, and a very easy everyday eye look. And then Knock on Wood is if I want a little more color, a little more drama in my eyes. I love to go with this like really rich burgundy color. And then Sweetest Candy. Very simple, very pretty. And then another favorite, we've talked about it a lot, Silent Treatment. Such a great palette to go to every day when you really don't want to put a lot of thought into what am I going to do for my eyes today. I either go with the Silent Treatment or Walking on Eggshells. It doesn't get any easier than that. I get a more brown color from this and I actually achieve a little bit more of a black gunmetal color from the Silent Treatment palette. So just depends on what I'm wearing. And that's another thing as far as when I think about what I'm going, going to go to for my makeup on a daily basis, I kind of already have an idea of what I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys do that or not, but that kind of helps me know if I'm going with a blacks or if I'm going with browns or plums. It's just easy, kind of cool, keeps it simple. And then here are my favorite Sigma eye brushes. My main one that I use for all over lid color is this large shader E60. Just a really flat, good brush to pack on the color on your eyelid. And then for the outer corners and for the crease, my favorite is the medium angled shading E70. And I love this one. It gets, because of the angle, it gets into your crease wonderful and you can just Honestly, the length from here to here on this brush is the perfect length for taking out your your eyeliner on your outer corner. And I think Jamie's already talked about that in a tutorial, and I'll kind of hit on that as well in a future tutorial. And then I love using the Pencil E30 brush for applying, kind of sometimes dragging the darker color that I'm using for the day down onto my lower lash line if I want kind of a soft, smoky effect. And then this is what Jamie and I like to refer to as our magic brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. If you are going to go out and buy a Sigma brush tomorrow and you just want to start with one and you're not sure which one to get, I highly recommend this one. It erases your mistakes with ease and just makes everything look good and smooth. No harsh transition lines in between your shadows. So I love this. Definitely, um, we can we not say enough about our Sigma brushes. We love them. All right, and then just to finish up my eyes, I have been reaching for my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Damsel. This is a very rich, deep chocolate brown. I've been reaching for this the most here lately. It's also waterproof, which is always can be handy. Sometimes hard to get off, but handy. Um, and then the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. Jamie loves it too. And we just can't say enough about what this does for our lashes. It makes my lashes look so long. I've tried a gazillion different mascaras. This might be like $22, $23, something like that, but it's definitely a, a mascara that's worth saving up for. And then I try to every day, but quite honestly, I don't do it every day, um, but I try to sometimes fill in my brows. I have very light eyebrows because of my hair color, so I use this Revlon Brow Fantasy. I have to use it in the shade Brunette. It's not obviously what I would like to be using. I wish that they had one for Auburns, but they don't, so Revlon, could you work on that for me? Um, but this is just a pencil on one end and a brow gel on the other. 
The brow gel is what I use the most and I will just lightly dot it on my eyebrows just a couple of little places and then use a spoolie to kind of brush that color out. That way the brunette shade isn't like too dark for me. It blends out really nicely to kind of more match my hair color. Um, that leaves lips and you guys know that lip gloss and lipsticks and lip balms are some of our favorite products. We have tons. If you ever ask us to put all of our lip glosses together in a bucket, because it would literally require a bucket, you wouldn't want to add up all the money that's there because we're obsessed. But um, I start first of all with good old chapstick. I've been a chapstick aholic for as long as I can remember. I remember being 10, 11 years old and having to always have my chapstick on me. So this is something that I go to um, as soon as my makeup is done. And then I always like to just add a little bit of something else, whether it's some shimmer from a gloss or a, a light or nude colored lipstick. Those are more of my everyday go-to looks. I like kind of more peachy nudes. Um, this Color Whisper from Maybelline has been my favorite here lately and it's in the shade called Some Like It Taupe and it's just a really gorgeous nude that has a little bit of shimmer and it's perfect for everything that you're wearing. Um, it goes with things well. I'm wearing it today. Sometimes if I do a more smoky eye, I like to keep my lips simple. So, that's it. That pretty much covers what I would reach for on any given day of the week to do my makeup. Now, obviously, sometimes we go more dramatic for going out at night or for events, and that's always fun, too. But the point of this video is just keep it simple. So, I wanted to show you guys what I use. I think it's easy. It's a lot of, honestly, like... I have a mix here of high-end and drugstore, but those wet and wild eyeshadows, you cannot beat the price of those. So if you don't have those, go out and get them soon. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate Kristen tagging us. We had a lot of fun with this. I know Jamie enjoyed her video. So I hope you like this one. And then, like I said, if you want to jump in, we would love for you guys to post a video response. We would love to watch it and share it with others. And if you're not someone who does videos and you're just a blogger, we would love for you to just take kind of like your items that are your go-tos and just list them on your blog as a simple blog post. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support, and we will see you in a new video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.